Happy Monday, Trade Hackers. Welcome to today's update. Today is May 18th, starting with the Trade Hacker question today. With the recent big swings in the market, is selling premium still valid? So obviously, a lot of our strategies are delta neutral, premium selling strategies, and we, we want price to stay within a specific range. So when you have these big swings, it can seem like, you know, is it does it make sense to still do those strategies? Because if you have a, a massive swing, it could hit one of your break evens or break through and, and go beyond your range and turn into a losing trade. The answer is absolutely. In fact, remember what we thrive on is selling implied volatility when it's high. So when when the big swings happen, when there's uncertainty in, in the market, that's what pushes the price of options higher. And that's that's why we use the implied volatility indicator here. So you're seeing, you know, IV percentile is at 84. Now IV ranks at 30, so it's still decently high, but that just means that the options are more expensive. So you're getting more premium when you sell them. Now that that doesn't mean that price is always going to stay in your range. But what we do know is that implied volatility is overstated over 85% of the time. And when implied volatility is high, that is the best time to be selling premium in the market. So hopefully that helps answer that question. Speaking of big moves in the market, S&P up a cool 100 today, Dow up 985, NASDAQ up 228, and the Russell up 86. This is what we like to call a rip your face off rally. So just a big, big jump today. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, I mean, we're just we're still in this little box that we have that we've been kind of trading in for the last month and a half. So nothing really uh, out of the ordinary here. I know one of the pharmaceuticals came out with you know positive news about one of the vaccines for COVID nineteen. So that had something to do with it. Fed came out and said, "Hey, we still do have some bullets left, and we'll do whatever is necessary to uh, to keep this thing cranking." So. That's kind of what's driving the market as far as news goes. What did we do today? Well, we added a one of our weekly double calendar strategies, took off a winning iron duck, and that's about it. Did another did another adjustment. So let's take a look at some of the other stocks. I mean, everything is pretty much green. You got Beyond Meat that's a little bit in the red, BIIB, which is a biotech uh, in the red, GILD, another biotech, a little bit in the red. Kroger, tiny bit in the red. Netflix, finally, a little bit in the red. But for the most part, pretty green across the screen. I mean, if you look, I mean, especially like, I mean, look at Boeing, up over 12%. Big move for Boeing. Uh, some of the other airlines, if we take a look at Delta, for example, up almost 14%. So a lot of a lot of big moves in the airline stocks, as well as banks. I mean, you look at Citigroup up 9%, Bank of America up 6.5%. So if you look at this, I mean, the Russell was up almost 7%. I mean, that, that's a huge move for an index. The lagger actually was the NASDAQ. So big tech kind of slowing down a little bit. Although when I say slowing down, I mean, you look at Amazon still up 0.68%. You look at uh, you know Facebook up a percent, but Google up almost a percent. So definitely still up, but not leading the way. I mean, it's all about financials, transportation, airlines, uh, travel, Expedia had a big move higher. So a lot of positive kind of feelings in the market today about the world getting back to a somewhat normal situation, but we will see. So everybody have a great night and we'll talk to you tomorrow.